What's up guys, Yes McGann here, and today we are playing Erlong Shen, who's getting nerfed next patch. Which I'm not too surprised about, he's getting nerfed at the same time as Kukulin, which are two warriors that are incredibly popular right now. Because they not only have some good pressure early on in the game, they also transition well into team fights, have a lot of setup, can just deal a lot of damage. And they have great chase down potential, both of them together, so seeing them both get nerfed at the same time isn't really a surprise. We already saw, already released my video ex with the god that I think is going to be probably the top warrior once again in the soul lane, although I think he's pretty close up there anyway right now. But yeah, we are playing the one that's getting nerfed, who I think is still going to be decent, but we're against an another Erlong Shen, so... And yeah, we're against a... Yeah, I'm just going to go for the sprint here. We're against the Zhang Kui support, most likely. Could be against the Zhang Kui in lane as well. I mean, it could be Erlong Shen support, which I would actually expect Erlong Shen support over the Zhang Kui support if I hadn't seen Zhang Kui support, like, in three games in the last two weeks. So, yeah, I've seen more Zhang Kui support as of late the, rather than Erlong Shen, but it could go either way here. It could also be Susano solo, Zhang Kui jungle, those solo. You never know. It's... It's... It's 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 always it's it's odd. Ooh, there's the it is the mirror matchup here. Okay, you went for I do have the sustain advantage here as well, which is nice. Uh, he's gonna block my mink. I thought I was gonna hit it right there, but I guess he was able to stop my mink from going through right there, which was really good from him. I'm gonna have to back off here. Let's see. Oh, wait, he uses Mink again. Okay. Well, he's not going to have that for the next wave, which is good. I should pop both health pots here and go into my turtle form, actually. Okay, we're both going to hit level two here. He wants to Mink me again here. And it looks like we are going to give up first blood, unfortunately. But this lane is still pretty stagnant. Not too much action going on at the moment. Which isn't super surprising, being that it is the mirror matchup, like I said earlier. And uh, I'm not going to be able to stop him from getting the clear right there. That's unfortunate. I thought I might be able to stop him from getting the, uh, the farm, but not going to be able to do so. And yeah, it looks like they just went for his mana buff right there. So we'll hurry up, clear this out. Bok is at the fire elementals. Let's see if he can get this really quickly. There he goes. Got the buff there. And actually... Okay, it doesn't look like Susana's coming over here. It's hard to out-secure a Bakasura, so we're gonna get our mana buff here. And the Fire Elementals were taken for our team. Alright, we'll clear this out. There we go. We're both gonna hit level 5 here. And, okay, we both actually went Sprint. I thought he might go Horrific Emblem. And we already have a Jean Kui on the enemy team, that's why I went for the sprint here, but I... I guess I could have won Horrific Emblem. Enemy ultimate I meant to actually Mink right there. If I would have Minked, I would have had the much better clear. Alright, so we'll clear out this wave. I think I'm just going to go back to base after this one and get my Warrior Tabi. There we go. Clear that out. Alright, looks like we're going to trade ultimate for ultimate, but mine's on a shorter cooldown, obviously, because I... Or I guess not a shorter cooldown, but it's going to be off cooldown quicker. Oh, jeez. 
My attack chain is busted right now. I don't know what's going on with it right now. Alright. Make sure it's that we had our three for that Susano. It looks like the... Other Erlong Shrine is just going to go back to base here. So we're going to go back to base as well, get our Warrior Tabi. And I guess I'll go for the... Let's see... I think I may just go mystical mail this game. Just get that item first. Overgoing, let's say, a gladiator shield or something. Because we can't really abuse our advantage, and the mystical mail is going to make more of an impact in the team fights. So we'll go for that here. And Erlong Shadow actually lost a little bit of farm there because of the Susano, so we are going to be a level ahead of him right here, so that's going to be very... Useful. There it is. He's just going to hit level 7 now. Went for an identical build here, but we did get the advantage right there. In that last engagement or boxing match. There we go, get our mana buff. Come back to the wave. Hit level 8. And we might be able to get a kill over here, let's see. Okay, never mind. Ooh, actually... They want to fight. We can actually fight right here. to get a sprint right here. Okay, we got Susano. We did take a lot of damage from Thoth, though. Oh, nice Afro ultimate. Oh, I couldn't get my three off in time. Tried to dodge a Thoth. That was a chaotic fight, and actually... I think Kuzumbo might be going down here. Actually, a really good Nene Kappa. Oh, no, Baka missed. Baka's gonna die because he missed. Yeah. That was a chaotic fight. I thought we were going to take the advantage and win that one, but unfortunately the... The Baka ended up missing his leap and unfortunately going down, but I'm going to go for... I'm well, not magical. Physical. We're going to go for the tier 2 into the... Breastlet or Nemean Lion and then go for the Mystical Male. That should be a nice setup for us. Go for more of a little, a little, I guess a little bit of a bridge item here. But man, that could have been a completely different outcome if Baka's leap hit the Erlong Shen, but unfortunately hit the... Hit the Thoth, and Thoth was the only one in that fight who wasn't even close to dying, so... Definitely swung the fight into their favor there. Alright, I think, let's see, I'll actually put a, a level into my, another level into my pin. Overputting one of my one. It looks like he got Gladiator Shield. Not really surprised since he had enough gold for it after that fight because he didn't go down, so... He was able to go for that over the... Over the tier 2 breastplate, which I picked up, but tier 2 breastplate is a pretty decent item. As far as tier 2s go, it gives you a lot of physical protection, so... We'll be able to take advantage of that, plus I can build it into Nemean Line, which I'll definitely be picking up later. Since I will probably be going to Thorns this game. Ooh, actually, can we get a fight here? Oh no, he used his ultimate on Erlong Shen there. Yeah, definitely needed to use that on the Susano. I guess Susano was kind of out of range, but... Oh, Erlong Shen gonna pop his sprint there. I guess it was because John Kui and the rest of their team was coming in. My team needs to be very careful here. Got a Thoth on the backside. 
Well, we got one. Might be get a, be able to get another here. Oh my my gosh! I need my three back up. Oh, I caught Zhong! I don't know if- Yes, there it is! Kuzumbo able to pick it up with his Nene Kappa. There it is. Couldn't get the Thoth, but hey, we still got a kill in the Zhong Kui. And Kuzumbo is looking for a fight over here. Yeah, throw his Nene Kappa in there. Be a bit of a nuisance, but we'll get the Fire Elementals here before they despawn and go for our own buffs. Make sure we can pick up another mana buff, and that fight definitely went our favor there. We only lost one, and they ended up losing the Susano as well as the Jean Kui in that fight, which is great for us. Alright, looks like we're just both gonna clear and go back to base. I think Aphrodite is gonna go down in this middle lane, even with Thoth being so low. She probably won't be able to get a kill against the Thoth in mid. Yeah, she's gonna go down. Couldn't get the Thoth either. Those are just really hard to kill with Afro if you can't get the burst off at the beginning, just because, of course, Afro, she has two abilities that deal damage. So, yeah, it wasn't really the best situation for her to be in. And Ubaka might be dead here, too. Uh, she, he got over the wall. No, he's going to go down to Thoth. I don't know if that was a final judgment or not, but either way, it did kill Bakasura. So, the Gold Fury is definitely in their sights here. And I don't know if I can actually prevent them from doing it. I'll ping it out. I don't. I don't think my team's going to be able to get there in time. We only have Kuzumbo. I mean, Kuzumbo does have a great ultimate, but... Oh, actually, they didn't go for the Gold Fury there. That may have been a bit of an oversight from them, because I definitely think they could have secured that. So I'm surprised they didn't go for it right there. Great for us, though. Alright, Erlong's at the speed buff here. I guess he doesn't have his ultimate available here. Baka backed off, but we have Kuzumbo coming in here. Okay, we did get the Erlong Shen. Actually, maybe not. Oh no, she didn't connect to me. Uh, I think Afro accidentally, uh, I think Kuzubo might have jumped in front of me when Afro came in. And she ended up, uh, well, I ended up dying. And Nene Kappa got the slaps on Susano. I'm not quite sure. I guess Baka's ultimate was down since he didn't use it in that engagement. But man, it's unfortunate Afro didn't get the, the kiss on me because I definitely would have lived right there. Ooh, they're actually pushing it on this left side, and that means Junk are the... Yeah, there it is. The Gold Fury going to be going down in our favor. Definitely a good play for my team. And actually, you know what? I may actually just go for this Nemean line right now, because I have enough gold for it. Yeah, I think I actually will. I'll just pick up the Nemean line right now. Get the anti-basic attack item. Which is going to be great against what they have right now. They have a very... Some very high mid-game physical damage with the Scotty and... Oops, accidentally canceled that out. With the Scotty and the Susano, so... The Nemean line should be very helpful there. As well as we're gonna get the... Mystical Mail soon, get ourselves a little bit of magical damage. As well as some HP. Alright, we'll clear this out. And I think I'll just put another level into my one here. I actually want Witchblade. Trying to deal with that Baka Sura attack speed. A little bit. I guess we have Baka, Erlong, Shen, and Hachiman, so the item definitely definitely makes sense.
All right, it looks like Susano's looking for something. Oh, I do have the thorns. Uh, it's gonna be uh, Aegis being used. Uh, he's gonna taunt and run. There it is, nice, we got the Susano. Always be careful, because that Thoth ultimate, that's not gonna hit. Let's see if Vaak can get, get in there. Ooh, we did root him. He's gonna have to stun. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go down here as well. Hmm, I guess Baka uses ultimate earlier and it didn't... He couldn't get the Thoth. I don't know if Thoth uses Aegis or not. He probably did if the damage was that low. Ooh, nice. No, Baka didn't see it. Actually, that's probably a good idea Baka backed off because Thoth was... Raining terror through the wall. Mm, Afro's not really doing too much damage right now, unfortunately. I guess that's kind of to be expected. She went for a breastplate instead of going for... A higher power item earlier. Want to go for a bit of protections, maybe to deal with the Susano. And get the cooldown reduction as well. And... Yeah, she's not really doing too much damage right now, so... We're definitely looking for later on in this game. I'm not gonna be able to get here in time. Actually, yeah, I can. Oh, we got one! Make that two! There's three. And not bad. They did get the portal demon, but we ended up getting a bunch of kills in return, so... That's not too bad. Have the thorns active. Should be a dead John Queen. And there it is. Baka's gonna be able to tear that one down and get a kill for us. Not bad. We got actually all the kills right there. And I'll just steal this mana buff away while they're still in the grave. There we go. Uh, looks like we're gonna lose our hunter in the 1v1 though. On the other side of the map. We'll be able to go back to base though and get our mystical mail. And I think I'll just go hide of the urchin this game. Actually, maybe I'll go. Let's see. Pestilence wouldn't be bad because the anti healing for the Jean Kui would be nice. But it's Jean Kui support. I did go Book of the Dead. He, he went for a really odd build. Um, <laughs> as a support Jean Kui. Then again, I guess he's go he was actually looking to deal damage. He wasn't really looking for Jean Kui support. But yeah, we're going to have tier 1 to our hide of the urchin. Which, the item, of course, is fantastic. We have Mystical Mail, we have Thor- or not Thorns, Nemean Lions, so... Even though this guy has Witchblade, we easily have the advantage in terms of the 1v1. Yeah, I mean, you can see it right there, the magical damage. As well as the Reflect is just too much for this Erlong Shen to deal with in the 1v1. It looks like they got a kill on the Scotty there. See if I can help with this afro in mid. Ooh, nice. She's gonna be able to survive for now. Oh no, she does have an ultimate from the Jong coming on her though. Oh, and Thoth missed me! She does have the Aegis. Yeah, it's not gonna matter. I still ended up getting the kill. And Erlong Shen's gonna be... Coming around, he's gonna be a bit late though. I'm not quite sure what he was doing. Kuzumbo. Using that Nene Kappa to get a bit aggressive. Although this is a jo- Ooh! Susano taking the damage. Alright, I definitely want to just play aggressive over here. There we- Is the tower going down? And Kuzumbo, we gotta make sure he stays alive. Nah, he's gonna be going down. No keeping the Nene or the Kappa alive, unfortunately. And 
And there it is. Nice. We got the Erlong Shen. And ooh, got an ulted by Afro there. Now we can't. They're saying chase the enemy here. I don't know about that one. I mean, I do have the ultimate. Oh, there it is. Actually, we, yeah, we got the kill. Not bad. Ooh. Ow. That hurt. <laughs> Throw the ultimate through the wall. Oh, got to run. No, I'm going to be taken down. Afro's going to go down too. All right. At least we have the oracles on the gold fury so we can see when they're coming in. I'll sell this death toll probably right here just so I can get my hide of the urchin. Actually, you know what? I'll probably have enough gold if I wait. Oh man, this fight, this game has been back and forth, really, really messy. Every single time we take a step forward, it's like we take two steps back. I guess that was only like, that was a step for step. We both just took the mid tower. I think we had more kills overall anyway in that last engagement because, yeah, it's 17 to 18 right now. Yeah, but really close game. We are a bit down in gold, but we're personally ahead in gold against our lane opponents. And actually, ooh, I don't have enough for the hide of the urchin. But I'm so close that I, and I kind of like having the death toll for a while on this god because you do get a lot of healing. But they're looking for the gold fury here. This can be risky because we are against a Thoth here. And we have nowhere near the secure in comparison to a Thoth. Okay, we are going to get it though. Nice job. Excellent. I don't know where Thoth was, but Scotty was the only one who showed up and, well, we took advantage of that getting the gold fury there. And Erlang Shen still just pushing in that left side, which is... I guess he's getting the minions in, but... I mean, he wasn't there for that next... For that last fight. Over the Gold Fury. Okay, there it is. We got the Fire Giant as well, or the Portal Demon. We'll get our own mana buff here. And Afro can have that mana buff. I'm going to go back to base. Get my Hide of the Urchin and... We'll just pick up a ward right here. And the Erlang Shen's just chilling. Well, I thought Baka was coming in. Because he was standing by the portal, but he didn't. So, uh, <laughs> I ended up going in by myself, which is unfortunate. Because I just wanted to get in there and get a nice taunt on them. But, oh well. I guess we still got the kill, but we didn't have to die right there if he would have, uh... If he would have came in with us. But, that's alright. We're gonna get the, pretty much the whole team here. Okay, I don't know why Hachiman's... Uh, alright. <laughs> I don't know why Hachiman chased the, uh... The Thoth right there. Because we actually could have went for the Fire Giant there, which is kind of unfortunate. I guess Thoth's ultimate is down, but... With only Baka, I don't think they can actually take that down. I guess they have Afro too, with some healing. Alright, well, we'll spawn back up again. Man, it's unfortunate we died right there, though. I really thought... I really thought Baka was actually going to follow up so I could taunt and then he could ult on top. But then... I realized... As soon as Afro kissed me that I wasn't I wasn't gonna have a Baka store follow me up there and he uh he ended up going for a back camp instead. Oh we might be able to get something on this Retreat. left side. I don't know. We have to see if Afro can bait a little bit here. No, it looks like they're actually gonna be standing back. I have a mystical mail, so I can't be too obvious and oh man afro afro just got nuked see if we can get afro out of here i sprinted no she's just running in circles oh my gosh and she went down i don't think she realized that i sprinted because she kept just running in circles right there and oh no uh, Kuzumbo's gonna go down too. We do have Buck on the other side of the mat split pushing though. 
But man, Afro actually could have lived right there. Uh, she didn't realize that I sprinted, I guess. Alright, I'm actually trying to bait Thos ultimate, but it doesn't look like he wants to go for it right now. Uh, it doesn't look like he's going to go for it. Uh, Baka came in. He's going to be able to get two. Unfortunately, we did go down, but I think Erlong should be going down as well. His ultimate is about to come back up, though. So, he does have to be careful about that. Oh, he just got turtle baited. There it is. Going to get the kill on Erlong Shen. Three in a row. They should actually just look for the fire giant. I mean, they killed half the team right there. The Bach is level 20. I think Fire Giant should be able to be taken down here. As I don't know. Hachiman's... I don't know what Hachiman's doing. But he's keeping Scotty away from the Fire Giant, so that's good. They don't have vision on it. And Baka is doing probably more damage than Hachiman can, be do can do to this objective right now. So it's basically like having a full fully slotted Hunter right now and... It's gonna go down, so we're gonna pick up the pestilence now. And last time I'll probably go for. Hmm, I'm actually not quite sure. I could go for some more protections. I actually could go damage this game. Just because we have an Afro. And having an Aphrodite in the mid is lowering our damage drastically, as you saw earlier, at least in this game. Afro wasn't really doing any damage, and the enemy team was taking advantage of that. Making sure Thoth could actually get a lot of a lot of damage in the fights. It looks like they're gonna go all be on that left side. And ooh, someone just took the gold fury. We actually might be able to get a kill here. Oh, there it is. There it is. There's the Scotty. Baka's Baka smells blood. I'm going to tell Baka to come over here so we can take this tower. He does have the Titan's Bane, so yeah, we're, we're, we're melting this thing right now. There it is. And there's Erlong Shen going down. Oh yeah, we can keep the push going then. Everyone but Susana was taken down. Okay, it looks like they got the... They got the objective right there. I'm about to back out of there, unfortunately. Baka able to pick up the kill. And it looks like the mid tower going to go down here as well. There is still a Scotty coming in over here. But we might be able to get the mid Phoenix. We'll have to see. Kuzumbo can do a lot to Scotty and return damage. Oh my god, Scotty just got nuked. Okay, well, there was a Scotty. But there's a mid Phoenix going down in our favor. Should be the right Phoenix as well. There it is. Both objectives going down for us. And uh, Kuzumbo. Maybe getting a bit more excited than he needs to, but Baka with an ultimate. Okay, he's just gonna, I guess, use it to keep the enemies from coming in on him. Which is fine, because I actually want to go back to base. But, oh no, Baka might go down here. Oh no, Baka is gonna go down. Okay, Afro's gonna heal us. Man, there's a lot of anti healing on their team, though. My heal did almost nothing. Okay, Erlang shouldn't need to go back to base. All right, let's go back to base. And I actually am going to go a bit more damage this game, like I said earlier. And look for the chin size or something. Just because Afro's not really doing that much damage. So, yeah, she still doesn't, she's not even really going for a damage oriented build. So, a little more damage coming from the Soul Lantern would be nice. I already have Mystical Male doing a little bit of magical damage throughout a fight. And, oh no, Kuzumbo and Afro might be in some trouble here. I'm actually going to look to maybe turn this fight around because they... It's a 4v2. Oh my gosh, Scotty is so low. 
Okay, Scotty is ours, though. I'm gonna have to sprint here, though. Actually, maybe I didn't have to sprint right there. That was a bit of a waste on my part. Should just stay by her so I can get the full amount of that heal and go to over here to the mana buff. Pick this bad boy up. I have enough for my chin size, so I'll probably just go for this wave and then look to pick that item up. Here we go. Clear this out. You get my chin size. Pick up another ward and we'll be on our way. We're, we're not only tanky, but Shin size drastically increases Erlang Shen's damage just because of his passive allowing to get a bit more out of the procs than usual. And although Erlang Shen has a Witch Blade on their side, I'm still going to be able to get a lot of damage out of this item. So, gotta make sure to ward up around here. I think Kuzumbo, yeah, he has a sentry. I didn't pick up a sentry, so it's uh, not the best. Overall for us, but instead of trying to zone right here, I think we might just be... Yep, we can just melt this thing. There you go. We have pretty much the best. Like some of the best... Objective... Killing with our team composition in every single role. With the Bakasura, with the Erlong Shen, even Hachiman's pretty decent at it as well. Let's make sure to get the knock up on Susano here. Actually didn't do too well in that fight. No one died. Oh, Erlong Shen didn't die either right there though. Ooh, Kuzumbo. Holy smokes, he almost got taken out right there. Yeah, not really the best of fights. Well, it looks like these phoenixes are about to spawn back up. Right Seemed like the back line just couldn't kill the Zhang Kui. Which isn't really a surprise. Like I said, <laughs> we have an afro. I'm gonna keep going back to that. As well as, I guess, Hachiman just couldn't get the hits off. But I might be able to get the Scotty over here. There we go. Got the Scotty. If we get the Zhang, this is gonna be huge. There it is, Zhang going down. We can get the phoenix here now. I'm okay with actually tanking a few shots here. There it is. Get the mid Phoenix. Right Phoenix going down. I have my ultimate back up again. Oh my gosh. Okay, I didn't hit anyone with the top, but it doesn't matter because Baka was... Dealing damage to the Titan the entire time, and that's going to be the game. Very messy one. Uh, we did have more of a, even though we hit a Baka, we obviously had more of a late game character in the middle lane with Aphrodite, and she didn't even go damage, so it was even more so that she was just going to boost someone later on in the game, which Baka with Afro does make Baka tend to scale a lot better because Baka does have the issue of dying pretty much instantly, especially against a team with a Thoth and a Scotty later on, but with an Aphrodite that does... Remedy, remedy that just a little bit, and he ended up going 15-3 and 7, which was really nice, but yeah, we uh, we definitely fell behind early in the, in the game. Uh, those fights were looked like they were going for us, and then they wouldn't, because a big Thoth ultimate would come through, and well, there wasn't much we could do about that, because I think all three of Baka's deaths was from like the beginning of the game, which isn't much of a surprise with how our team composition was designed, but yeah, we ended up winning that game, which was nice, and... Going the distance. 32 minutes. Not bad, not bad. But with my build, I went for Nemean Line early just because I didn't have enough gold to finish Mystical Mail. And I wanted Nemean Line. Or I wanted another, or a big item for the next team fight. And Nemean Line was just fantastic against their team anyway. So I decided, you know what, I'll just pick it up right now. And then I went Mystical Mail, which a bit later than I would want usually. But it wasn't actually as late as I would expect because Nemean Line's not that expen expensive of an, of an item as a tier 3 item. When compared to, like, Breastplate or something, so that was, I guess, an okay pickup. And then Hide the Urchin, 
really good right now. Getting nerfed next patch, just like Erlong Shen, though. So we'll see what I would pick up in that slot whenever that change comes through. And then Pestilence to deal with some anti-healing. For this Jean Kui, especially, who went lifesteal and already has healing in his kit. And that's pretty much it. I guess Erlong Shen's healing as well. It helped a little bit against that as in, in that aspect. But uh, they had a lot of anti-healing, too, because... I can feel it. I was not getting healing at all for my ultimate sometimes. It was mostly due to just having an Aphrodite on your team. That's what you have to expect. Coming from the enemy team. And then I went, of course, Chin Size because I want a bit of extra oomph in my hits with uh, Aphrodite on my team. That was more or less just trying to support the Baka or myself in these fights. As I think it was in the last fight or the second to last fight, Afro just connected to me and I went to town. I definitely went to town. But yeah, not a bad game overall. Erlong Shen, after his nerf, I think he's still going to be good. We'll have to see. I'll just play him a few times, see if I can feel him out and see if I enjoy him still. But from the changes I see, he looks like he'll still be good overall. Just maybe a bit a bit rougher around the edge. It's not going to be able to chase things down as easily because, of course, he's going to have one second less on his haste. As well as a bit less clear. As you saw, I could full clear the archers uh, relatively early in the game. That won't be the case next patch as that is getting nerfed the mink form but anyway guys this has been the s Gam playing erlong shen in the soul lane i hope you enjoyed so please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace out